Hey, hello there, French Vinylady coming out on another video, and yeah, this time is a little bit late as I will be reviewing the purchases I made not last, yeah, last month, yeah, in June. Sorry, it's uh, it's almost end of July, I know, but it's been it's been a pretty busy time to me with all the meet up with a VC. I just got back from Boston, and once again, thank you to um, once again the big thank to uh, Mike and Patty for their hosting. It's been incredible. Uh, we made all these great guy from from the guys from there from the vinyl community mainly people from the east coast but people flew over from um, the west coast trevor jack from from vancouver and yeah it's been a pretty great we had some tremendous time together uh talking about music record drinking beer and uh yeah it's it's uh, it's really really nice boston is a great city i never been to boston before so i just took the opportunity to uh yeah, to visit the city downtown and just to uh, to go and find some some record. Didn't find any any records. Uh, there are two stores I've been to there. There, uh, music library something and good taste music on in the north end. But I yeah didn't didn't find anything. So yeah, in this video I will be uh, talking about all the purchases I made. So all the the stuffs I found uh, some part online and other uh, on, on on local store. Uh, Toronto, uh, with uh, with an, where I met with another group of people, where Brian was in, in Boston as well. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's start with uh, with the first one. So this is a batch from um, Flashback Records, uh, my one of my favorite place in in London in the UK. They had uh, great prices, uh, great fees as well when it comes to ship the, the package to to Canada. So uh, yeah, so the first one uh, I'm gonna talk about is uh, that one. This is uh, this is Soft Machine, uh, Canterbury scene, very iconic band. Uh, fourth album, uh, you know, Soft Machine. They were like iconic band. Started um, at the same time with um, with Pink Floyd. They had the same producer Joe Boyd at the very very beginning. Uh, it's a great fusion jazz pop. Uh, they just moved away uh, over 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 the time. Still interesting what that one. Uh, this is uh, this is the fourth. Uh, Robert Riot is still uh, credited on the on this one, although I think he he had already left, uh, so he participated, maybe not in the in the writing. Uh, so, but it's still it's still inter interesting. So, really glad I could find an OG copy as you as you can see of uh, Soft Machine fourth album released on Columbia. Um, the next one is something, yeah, I watch a lot of uh, live streams recently, uh, French VC, Stunny, uh, Big Star 1000, and uh, yeah, Stunny has, um, my my buddy Stunny, we now have this uh, French channel called uh, Discord du Pif, so uh, we host like every Sunday morning Eastern Eastern time, so European time is uh, like 1 p.m. East uh, Western, uh, like you know, Paris time. Um, the stream, uh, this Cody du Pif, and uh, yeah, he was uh, doing a live stream with uh, with another guy, uh, very known in, in the French vinyl community called Esther. So, Esther Music, he's got a great channel as well, very legible, he's, uh, he's a certain level. I will probably never, never achieve musically speaking, but pretty interesting and they they were talking about their experience their path throughout the music discoveries and so and so on and at the, at the time they were like mentioning uh this one this artist or uh, this this album uh collaboration robert fripp uh, brian eno and uh, just it uh, got me curious um to be honest i didn't really uh yeah i understand they were mentioning like this one was very like important by the time it it, it um it was released and i and i think it surely was i think uh just before uh, the name brian you know brian you know started with roxy music and a lot of people uh, i saw a lot of people commenting uh, when uh, first i i heard it one on on youtube i, I find somewhere on youtube channel someone who, who um who uploaded this one and i could read in the comment section a lot of people uh, saying something like hey i bought this record back in the days because i knew robert eno so it certainly helped this kind of music to to be more i would say ex accessible maybe some people discover that kind of uh avant-garde music at the time be, be, because it was Brian Eno who was not a Mr. Mr. Nowhere so uh, just got me a curse and Robert Fripp you know 
King Crimson's uh, founder and uh, among, among other other things. So uh, yeah, it's 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 an interesting record. The next one, uh, Canterbury scene as well, uh, Quintin quintessential probably uh, band of that era, Hatfield and the North, um, founded by ex-members of Caravan, Egg Can, uh, Gong, even Gong, yeah, uh, Robert Wyatt, so participated in, in one song. Uh, very interesting, uh, very gloomy the cover, uh, the atmosphere on the record is way different, he's more joyful I, w I would say and uh, so we have like tribute to the Monty Python for instance and uh, other other things uh, yeah, it's a great it's a great Canterbury scene so in a way you, you know this perfect uh, let's say hybrid things between rock pop and, and jazz obviously uh, an OG copy I got once again uh, this is their debut album on Virgin, on the Virgin label, so I'm really, really glad I could find this this one as well. The next one is another iconic album, uh, and I will talk about uh, this one. So this is a this is a Joy Division closer. Really, exactly uh, 34, uh, 40, 44 years ago. Yeah, on July the 18th, 1980, uh, the last of their two debut uh, studio albums, a closer. Um, a, a truly masterpiece you know it has uh, it served I think as a, as a it was a massive source of inspiration for all this generation of gothic rock uh, you know early YouTube uh, simple my uh, not simple minds but probably um, the cure you know echo the bunny man uh, a lot of bands uh, find their, their inspiration of, of on that masterpiece this is a this is beautiful and uh, this is a very special pressing as well this is the uh, OJ factory and that's the uh, that's the um, uh, couldn't say if we no we, we won't be able to to check it when you hold it uh, against a strong light uh, this record actually turns to red so it's it's like uh, it's like black when you put on the turntable and as soon as you hold up it's again the sun or like say a strong light it's uh, it's like red translucent record so and it sounds really really great and what a record what a, what a yeah so this is a joy division closer and the next one uh yeah is something like really close to joy division that era the new door new order first album uh, the first one they they made uh, when they decided to, to move on with uh, under the name New Order, so it has this Joy Division feeling definitely. Uh, once again, not my favorite record from from New Order, but still interesting, and it's one of the early pressing as well. So this is the this is why this is one of the reason I let's say uh, often purchase online. Uh, at flashback records in, in london since it's they, they have the og press uk british 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 pressing mainly so this is a this is another another classic now we are back in the late uh, 60s uh a band that i really like renaissance or renaissance with a french accent and the french pronunciation and probably the alsatian accent a little bit renaissance uh yeah Really like the um, Annie Haslam Shera's at era, no question. Uh, this is their debut album released in 1969, uh, founded by two members of the Yardbirds. Uh, Annie Annie Haslam is not on the on this one as uh, yet. It's Jane Rilf, who's the sister of Keith Rilf, uh, and uh, it's a pleasant record. It is. Um, it's not only uh, prog rock. It is progressive music, uh, of course, but. It is really interesting. It has a lot of classic influences and jazz. And at the at the very end of the of the album, the track uh, "Bullet," yeah, almost eleven minutes. It's a sort of free jazz, jazz free jazz, and uh, something like ambient. You know, very avant garde for 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 the time. So, uh, really, really nice. And it's a it's an OG press, or released on the Island label. I got for another yeah for. 
very fair price, very decent price. So I just simply jumped on that on that occasion. Uh, truly an uh, interesting record. Uh, moving on with another, the last of the batch of those records I, I bought, I flashback uh, the, the Psychedelic Furs and again an 80s band from the UK, probably also influenced by Joy Division. I always think a lot of bands were influenced either by Kraftwerk or found their inspiration at Joy Division's work. Uh, it's more complex than that, I know, but probably these those bands were also like you know we are mentioned now i read re rediscovering bands like the echo the bunny man uh, killing jokes and psychedelic first so it's a it's a pleasant uh it's a pleasant record as well psychedelic first talk 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 okay uh the next one is a uh, or the next batch uh, we made we met up uh, with uh, with Brian and Brianic Brian as Mike would say and Brianic Robot he's got a great channel and we met up with uh, with him last month uh, with with Ben Rankings Ben Ben uh, when uh, took a trip to North America all the way from Australia so it's been really pleasant what a great day we had we was we, we were like visiting a couple of record stores downtown Tor Toronto had a couple of beers at the pub or at the bar just after after that what a great experience and yeah during that trip uh, three men's uh, digging vinyl uh, I found uh, that one so this is the one I found at Sonic Boom uh, the biggest store in Toronto no question they have a lot huge choice in every genre genres uh, psych every every genre every used new vinyl it's it's a it's a it's a huge boutique store or shop and uh, yeah this um, and yeah i was stupidly mentioning this one as something like folk which is not folk uh, yeah it's a uh, chick korea chick korea's project he was involved so it's uh if you like bands like weather report so jazz fusion kind of things you will uh, probably maybe uh, it will be uh, appealing to you so this is a return to forever yeah this is a chick chick korea so he was like leading the project and uh, we went not to another place and uh, i was lucky to find uh, that one so super trump so this is their debut album uh, it's and it's a british press as well uk 1974 it's obviously a reissue since by the time it was released it was not a big success so i think they released a, a, a couple of or a batch of those records when when they finally got popular in the mid 70s uh and yeah super Tram, you know i grew up with a uh, breakfast in america and even in the quietest moment my my parents my father uh, played those two records every sunday morning so uh, it's not the kind of music i'm into right now though i uh, just gave a fair hearing to this one as i think a couple of months ago and i was surprised it's a great it's, it's a good prog prog album so i didn't have it in the collection so i just jumped at, on that occasion finding a nice copy uh, of supper tramp so yeah took it back home and i also find another supper tramp record yeah this one is a little bit yeah like mid 70s this is a canadian press crisis what crisis it's a pleasant record as well uh not my favorite but it's 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 nice to have and i think i just had for a less than yeah 12 dollars canadian dollars so roughly eight or nine us dollars if you convert and i had this good surprise very good surprise uh i was talking to brian and he was asking hey what are you looking for i said i'm don't know really don't know uh and i was mentioning the bill nelson i would love to find bill nelson records and believe it or not i find i found the record i was looking for at the, at the, at the cops with k uh, great store as well that's the third place we went to with the guys and i found exactly the one i was looking for i've been looking for 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 months so uh bill nelson love that world uh, is that a probably the most the greatest underrated uh, early 80s uh, new wave-ish record yeah probably yeah this one is absolutely it's absolutely amazing uh, the thing is i was watching another live stream a uh, french guy rock modern he's a great channel very knowledgeable about new wave 80s stuff and, and so on and yeah he has a 
lot of lot of records and he's uh yeah you have his ready his his bag and at the time uh the guy was asking hey what what could be your favorite uh, record from from those, those from from those era and he was showing that one so i just was simply curious because i had no idea i knew about bill nelson and his previous uh, project uh the, the band he was into don't remember uh, yeah a prog band uh just just in, in the top of my head and yeah he didn't have a career he he, he deserved uh i think the work of modern art saved is uh xxss <laughs> uh because he worked for a lot of exhibition later but uh this one is truly great it's it's pure uh new wave experimentation synth pop but nothing cheesy it's it's great when your uh, the flaming desire is it's the greatest track I'm, I'm i'm not cannot even understand why it it hasn't been a massive success just like you know when when simple minds came along depeche mode yeah it's a mystery in me but it's it's a great one so this is a uh, bill nelson the love that world's uh, diary of a thinking heart and it's released in 1982 uh the next one uh is a record i found in yeah in montreal in uh au 33 tour the greatest store in montreal now we are back in montreal and i was like yeah digging uh friday evening and uh, i found this record for less than 10 Canadian dollars so like seven US dollars something ish six six, six fifty something uh, Dave Cousins solo album released in 1972 uh, David Cousins was a leader of the strobes I'm very into the strobes right now as you as you as you know if you watch my channel um, the strobes great band from the folk progressive folk uh, I'm, I'm building up my my collection of the strobes uh, right now and uh, there is this song on that one called blue angel and i was like wow what's what's a great great song so i just uh, jumped on that occasion finding this record for uh, less than ten dollars uh, it's not a good very good condition i have to confess uh, it looks clean but a lot of surface noise so uh, I, I just try to clean the, the better i could but it's yeah it's well, if i find better copy for a let's say 20 or more money obviously i will i will probably trade this one because it's yeah it's 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 okay it plays well but it's yeah now something uh, very different in a library so they like they uh, in montreal they uh, sell like used records many classic musical and i found uh, this one this is a uh, something like yeah in a way very different it's a german record uh if you translate uh the title uh Einführung, yeah, okay uh, introduction in the new music with uh, some um yeah with with some uh how can you translate it Einführung, okay and introducing in the new music with uh uh with example of sounds that has been choice or that has been like cherry picked yeah if you want so this is uh just to uh, to say to uh it's a lot of talk it's a lot of vocals and you have like really examples of how the how the music's evolve you know the composition the structure uh, throughout the 20 the 19th century with the technology so yeah it's, it's just just took it back home for curiosity next one is another album uh, i discovered when i watched that stream with with study and esther music they, they were uh, you know they were talking about their path you know their uh, study is obviously really into avant-garde into uh, into those kind of uh, music and yeah esther as well so they and they were mentioning uh, this album uh, that has been a massive source of yeah, that had that triggers so many things. So uh, Tortoise uh, and, and Big Star Fred always talk about that one, and it's not an even a electronic one. It's uh, is that post rock? It's uh, I don't know. I, I think maybe I wasn't ready for that, but I like that this one. I had I listened to like five, four, five times, and uh, it's uh, I can understand. I can understand why why it has been so important for this generation. This is a uh, and this is a US press uh, originally released in 1996 and I could find 
uh, very cool uh, very cool copy so just just for my curiosity uh, I, know, I know a lot of I don't know a lot of his their uh, universe or uh, like you know like world of avant-garde of th those kind of music so yeah I was simply curious as they were mentioning that this one uh, was important for for the both of the, of, the, of, the, of those guys at the time so I just I was simply curious and uh, millions now living will never die so this is a tortoise and last but not least a good friend of mine he was in Poland uh, for vacation and uh yeah he has uh i just say hey if you have a like record store around you near your place you can just swing by and find to try to find some local stuff and this is what he did he brought me back from poland so thank you Charles. uh very cool one uh this is a uh, niemien this is a polish artist this is a, yeah this is this is Prague. this is early 70s Prague. uh these guys were influenced by Procol Harum, by King Crimson, obviously. Uh, great piano section. Uh, really, really nice. Really nice, if you like. Okay, it's, it's, and it's a little bit avant-garde, I would say. The way he sings was very, very unusual for those days, especially for Polish music. And I love about Polish music since I grew up with a... Uh, my family came from Poland, so I learned about popular songs from Poland, and I can't believe me that this was like wow! It has to be like in the communism, communism Poland from early seventies. So yeah, this is uh, this is the last one I will show today. So you see a lot of different genres, a lot of different records. Uh, this is my June kind of video. Uh, yeah. So hope you like it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next chapter. Bye-bye.